What's going on, guys? It's Brandon back here again. <coughs> and once again, I apologize. I am a little bit sick uh, still. And by a little bit, I mean kind of sick still. And so I gave you the video last night for the BFR against Philadelphia. That was after the game against Tampa, which was there's a back to back. And game 57 at home against the Tampa Bay Lightning on March 6th at 6 p.m. That was a game that they should have won. The Vasilevsky might have had his best game of the season in this game. He was absolutely incredible. Hawks lose six to three. They go to twenty twenty nine and eight. They get outshot thirty two to twenty seven. They get out hit twenty two to twenty. And in the faceoff dot, it's twenty six to twenty to Tampa. Uh, Flurry saves twenty six out of thirty two. Vasilevsky twenty four out of twenty seven. And some of those chances that he was getting to save. I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. One of the best performances by a goalie I've ever seen. And it's probably why he's the best goalie in the world. Uh, going into the game, there's a lot of Kane trade rumors about Colorado and the Rangers being the two big ones that are interested. And then Tyler Johnson finally got his second Stanley Cup ring as it was gifted to him by the Tampa Bay Lightning before the game. Uh, he was traded to Tampa before they had them ready for uh, when they won it last year. So he finally got his second ring. So, good for him. He's got two rings, one more, and he'll match the Hawks. Not with Chicago. Uh, so, Tampa gets a two-on-one early. Stamkos post. The Hawks were turning over early. Tampa had the jump. There's a turnover, a two-on-one. Hagel to Doc. Vasquezky save of the year candidate. That's that's number one. And then at 12-9, it's a Chicago one-timer goal from Dylan Strom. It's 12th of the season from Kane and Debrinket to make it one nothing. And then Carpenter had a two-on-one that was... Two, Carpenter and DeBrinkett had a two-on-one that was saved. Um, DeBrinkett, Kane, two-on-one missed. Kane had a backhand pass that led to the Strom goal. Uh, at whistle tripped, no call. As he is down, his stick came up and hit Hagel in the face, and he was fine. Vasilevsky had a good poke that saved uh, a chance for Doc. Uh, Caleb Jones had clearly high sticks uh, and Sorelli, and I'm not sure how the referee missed that. That was even clearer than the trip. And there's no call on that. Uh, Debrinket and Johnson, two-on-one, denied. And then Doc had a chance to deny. So we go to the second period. Uh, early in the second, a minute and nine seconds in, it's an incredible shot from Tampa Bay's Taylor Radish at 1851. And his fifth of the season from Sergachev and Foot. And what happened was, so I, Sergachev took a sh or Sergachev or Foot, I don't remember, took a shot from the point. Someone at, at Whistle gets his stick on it, so it just stops. And then Radish, while being checked by Doc, not no look no look backhands the puck out of the air and perfectly from about 30 feet out right behind Flurry. It was an incredible shot, one of the greatest goals I've ever seen. I'm telling you, Tampa. The reason the reason they win games, great goaltending, and some there's a reason they're back-to-back -back champions. That it was an incredible performance, what that they put on tonight. And it's funny enough is that I even think they played that well. Just they got stuff. They just got the lucky bounces, and they got the lucky shots, lucky saves, lucky goals, and that leads to winning teams, unfortunately, for the Hawks. Uh, and then uh, Point hits the post right after that, and then at 13.51, exactly five minutes after the Radish goal, it's a Chicago goal from Patrick Cade, his 18th of the season, and an absolute snipe pass Vasilevsky from Seth Jones and Hagel to make it 2-1. Uh, at 10.06, it's a Tampa Bay penalty to McDonough for delay of game for the first penalty of the game, which would be killed. And the Hawks had the same amount of shots. Well, they, they had the same amount of shots as the Lightning, but the Hawks, I think, had to that point had played much better than the Lightning as they were up 2-1. to one. Uh, Then at 7.52, it's a Tampa Bay penalty to Sergachev for holding the stick, which would be killed. Not, uh, It wasn't a great at all. Uh, and then Dabrinkit is absolutely robbed by Vasilevsky. Uh, Johnson then was robbed. Vasilevsky was stealing this game, I wrote down at this point. And then Fleury had a good save on Stamkos. Then at uh, 649, it's, it's a Chicago penalty to break it for tripping, which would be which would make it 4-on-4 four four for 57 seconds. It, the rest of the power play, the rest of the Tampa power play would be killed. But four seconds after that power play runs up, at 312, it's a Tampa Bay goal from Cal Foot. It, actually, no, it's at 443, it's a Tampa Bay goal from Victor Hedman. I'm getting ahead of myself. His 12th of the season from Kirk Kucherov and Stamkos to make it 2-2. Two two. And then a minute and, I believe, 40 at 31 seconds later, yeah, it's a Tampa Bay goal from Cal Foote from his first of the season from Sorelli and McDonough to make it 3-2. So just like that, Tampa had was down 2-1. They now have the lead. 
And that second one had no chance for Flurry. is a great pass by Sorelli. And then uh, uh, Hedman ke- ke- uh, ke- kept the puck in, and then the puck hits Maroon. The, the, uh, the, what happened was Hedman uh, kept the puck in with a whack at with a whack out of the air, and then the puck just launched the stuff right at Maroon's head. And it was just it was pretty funny to see uh, that he was fine though. Uh, then Zarnak and uh, Zarnak and Doc, they hate each other while hitting each other, if that makes sense. It was weird. Doc's helmet kind of came off a little bit. It was a really weird sequence. Uh, Seth Jones prevented a two-on-one, two-on-one one-timer late in the period, and we go to the third, where this is where the collapse begins. At 18.09, it's a Tampa Bay goal from Victor Hedman, his 13th of the season from Point and Sergachev, to make it 4-2. Then at 17.56, it's a Tampa Bay goal from Corey Perry, so that's... 13 seconds later, his 16th of the season, unassisted off a turnover, and make it 5-2. And then 19, sec- yeah, 19 seconds later, so in a span of 32 seconds, at 17.37, it's a Tampa Bay goal to Mikhail Sergachev for, the, for his 5th of the season from Colton to make it 6-2. So a 1-goal lead just became a 4-goal lead for Tampa. Uh, then Fleury had a great save on a deflection, and Tampa was in complete control. Uh, Hawks... Turnovers were causing goals for Tampa to go in. Flurry smashes his stick out of anger, and I can understand it. The Hawks were frustrated. They started to scrum in front of the Hawks net, uh, in front of the Tampa net. And then Strom fans on an open net. And then at 12:55, it's a Chicago deflection goal for Alex to break it from his 32nd of the season from Strom to make it 6-3. Sorry about that. Uh, so Debrinket then had a breakaway that missed, and then it's a Hawks two on one. Debrinket to Kane. Vasilevsky, while down, reaches up with his glove and absolutely robs Dabrinkin. I'm telling you, this was the best goalie performance I've seen in my lifetime. Vasilevsky was absolutely incredible. The Hawks should have won this game without question. If those three go, if if they don't score three goals in 32 seconds, this game is right to the Hawks without question. And if they have their backup in net, let's say they put Elliott in net for this game, the Hawks would have won 10 to one. But Wow, it was an incredible effort by Vasilevsky. Uh, Kane looked up looked up at the scoreboard, said, oh my god, and was in absolute disbelief. Uh, there were good saves on Strom and Johnson, uh, as at 6.58, it's a Tampa Bay penalty to Belmar for holding, which would be killed. Uh, Johnson had another chance that was saved. At 2.11, it's a Chicago penalty to Stillman for tripping, which would be killed. Uh, a shorthanded two on one, Flurry a great big save, and then Vasilevsky has never lost a regular season game in Chicago. He has lost in the playoffs. Strange fun fact, kind of like that Philadelphia one that about last time. But yeah, Vasilevsky made he could be a ruler and have sent vassals out because that's what he did. And I'm in I'm still in disbelief over the performance that I saw. Actually, I didn't change this before the game, but I do know now that Dallas is above Nashville. Uh, so I need to fix that. Um, Eichel had a, Eichel had a buzzer beater against Ottawa that won Vegas the game the, uh, last night. And other than that, that's really all I have for you guys today. I sh- uh, hope to recover soon. Hawks game will be tomorrow against Anaheim, I believe, at seven thirty, if I'm correct. Yes. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.